are here to solve what limit of what absolute what function. But before that, if you have a limit as x goes to place c, then you have absolute of what x. Then this absolute this is the absolute sign. So if you put negative inside, it turns it into what into positive. If you put positive, they say it into positive. So that is the absolute sign. So if you have something like this, straight away, what you are going to do is that you have what? Absolute of this, which is what? Equal to a function that is what? Negative x. If what? x is what? Less than what? Where your limit is what? Approaching. That is what? C. And the positive side, x. If what? x is what? Greater than what? C. Okay? Where your limit is approaching. So this limit, if I want to check whether this limit exists, I do for the left hand side and the right hand side. But here, this is the right hand side, this, this is the left hand side, and this is what the right hand side. So in place of what this whole thing, I just substitute this one into the equation. Then I, I apply the condition of my limit. So for this one, I'm going to get something like for the left hand side, I'm going to get limit as s goes to c that is the left hand side then i have absolute of what yeah, x something like this so for this one so in place of this one i'm going to substitute what negative x so i'll get to this one negative what x here then i'll choose a number less than what c and i'll put it inside one. so suppose here my c is what let's say zero here, it means that I'm going to choose a number of less than C. So suppose here is what? Here is X. It means I'm going to choose a number less than zero. So I can choose like negative one. When I choose negative one and I put it inside the person, I get what? Negative one, negative one, which is equal to one. That is what the left hand side. If I go to the right hand side, so for the right hand side, I'm going to get the limit as S goes to what? Let's say C plus, and we know that our C is what? Zero. So I'm going to get plus C. So I'm going to choose what? In place of what? This whole thing. I'm going to put this one inside the equation. So I get what? X. But I'm going to choose a number. That is what? Above what? Zero. So I can choose, let's say, one. If I choose one and I put it inside the equation, I get what? One. So you see, this one is equal to the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Then I say that the limit does exist. That is the idea. But let me give some examples, specific example here. I can give something like function as function f of x equal to let's see. No, first of all, let's do this one before we come back. Let's do this example. Limit as s goes to one, let's say four. Then we have what? Average of one x minus one. one. All divided by what? By x plus what? one. So for this one, I can't just do it straight away. I need to change, to change this one into what? Into my function form. If I do so, I get something like this one is the left hand side minus what x minus one. If what x is what less than what where the limit is approaching, that is four. And the positive side, if x is what greater than what four for this one. So this is my left hand side and this is my what, my right hand side. So if you want to finish it, for my left hand side, I'm going to get limit as f goes to a 4, that is the left hand side, that is the left hand side, then what, the output, if you want to this one, I'm going to substitute negative of x minus 1, so I'll get negative x minus 1, all divided by what, x plus 1, for this one, then the condition says that I should choose a number less than 1, so, so I can choose what, 3.9 or 10.9, okay, so I'll choose, let's say, 3.9. So I'm going to get limits as x goes to 3.9. Then I have what? x minus what? 1. All divided by x plus 1. x plus 1. Like this. So for here, I just substitute in what? 3.9. I get what? 3.9 minus what? 1. 
all divided by what? 3.9 minus 1. They know what? The answer I'll get here, I keep it. Then I go to the left hand, the right hand side. So for the right hand side, I'm going to get the limit as n goes to 4 plus for the indication. Then I get what? In place of this whole thing, I put the left hand side inside. So I get x minus what? 1. All divided by what? x plus 1. Then here, I'm going to choose a number out from the condition above 4. So I choose 4.1. So I'm going to get limit as x goes to 4.1. Then x minus 1, all divided by x plus 1. Then I put him on the limit. So I just substitute 4.1, 8 minus what? 1. All divided by 4.1 minus what? 1. So for this answers, I'll check these answers, these two answers. If this one is equal to this one, then I say that the limit will do exist. Okay. If the ans if the answers are not the same, then the limit does not what exist. So it's for in case if I want to find out, just find for this word, this question, like this equation, what I have to do is I can just use the left hand side to predict my answer or the right hand side to predict my answer. That is the idea of what of it. So let's look at this one too. You can get in the case where both of them the numerator and the denominator of both of them are involved in the absolute sign. So suppose you have something like this limit as s goes to four. Then you have something like what we just saw. So all divided by x plus what one like this. So for this one, you, have to, you need to work with this one and work with this one after that you put in the first one. So here, you do for the first one, minus one, which is equal to the function, the negative side. If x is for less than or four, then you do for the positive side. If x is for greater than four, then you do for the now one, two, plus what, one which is equal to x minus what? x plus 1. If what x what is less than what 4, then the positive side. If x is what greater than what 4. So here, this is the left hand side. This is also the left hand side. This is the right hand side. And this is what the right hand side. So this one, if I want to work with what the right hand side, the left hand side, it is simple. I just go here, in place of this one, I just substitute this one at the top. And I come back to what this, the down one, this one, in place of what, this one, I just substitute this one. Here. So I'm going to get something like limit, limit, Negative what? X minus 1. All divided by what? This one. Negative what? X plus what? 1. Okay. Then I, I use the condition. I choose the number out less than 4. That is 3.9. As S goes to what? 3.9. Then minus or this minus what? All divided by this plus this. Then I put in what? 3.9. If I do so, I'm going to get negative 3.9 minus 1. All divided by what? Negative 3.9 plus what? 1. Then I keep my answer here. I keep my answer. Then I'll come to the, to the right hand side. Limit as s goes to what? 4 plus. Okay. Then for the right hand side, in place of this one, I'm going to substitute what? This one. Sorry, I'm going to substitute what this one in place of what of the down one. And in place of the top one, I'm going to substitute this one there. And I apply the condition on it. So I'm going to get what? Here, I'm going to get x minus what? 1. All divided by what? x plus what? 1. Then I choose a number. Since this one is what? Greater than. And this one greater than 4. So I will choose a number like. 3. Point, let me choose 4.1. So I'm going to get limit as s goes to 4.1.
and I put it inside of the equation. So here it would be 4.1 minus 4.1 all divided by 4.1 plus 4.1 and I put my answer. If the answers are the same, then I will say the limit do exist. If the answers are not the same, then I will say the limit does not exist. Uh -huh. So the next example is what? If you have, let's say, function f of x equals something like maybe 7x squared plus root 2. x is what? Less than what? 20. And you have, let's say, 3x cubed minus what? 8x. When x is what? Less than what? 20. And i. If you have limit as s goes to what? Negative what? 5. Then the function and the i, i, i. You have limit as s goes to what? 50. Then you have the what? The function. So first, for the first one, if you want to find the first one, here is negative 5. You check the condition. At the condition, as s approaches negative 5. So if you check this and this, which one s? Which one is x less than what? 20. So here you can see that negative 5 is what? It's less than what? 20. So in place of what? f of x, you choose what? This function based on what? Based on the condition. So solution. For the, for the first one, we're going to get the limit as x goes to what? Negative what? 5. Then the function is 7 what? x squared plus what? 2. Then you just put in what? The 5. So you're going to get what? Negative what? Negative 5 squared plus what? 2. Okay, so if you do that one, then your answer, the answer you get. Then when you finish, you come to the, the second one. This one is the i. The second one, then that one is the same thing. x is approaching 50. So you go to this and this. Which one? So you can see that for me, x is what? Greater than or 20. So here, x is approaching 50, meaning that x is what greater than 50. So you choose what this function based on the condition. So you get limits as x goes to what 50. Then you have you have what 3x cubed minus what 8x. Then you put in what 50. So you're going to get 3 